Hi, I'm Steve Calloway, Hillsborough Mayor, and welcome to Community Conversations. It's a video cast. You can watch it like a video or listen to it like a podcast. It's your choice how you wish to participate, when, how, and in what way. So today we're talking about engagement and our new online platform, Engage Hillsborough. And to discuss it, we have three members of our City of Hillsborough team. So would you please introduce yourselves? Sure, thanks, Mayor. My name is Simone Brooks. I'm an Assistant City Manager, and I am responsible for our community engagement efforts. Lauren Scott, Public Information Officer for the Economic and Community Development Department. And I am Krista Snell. I am the Public Information Officer for Public Works. Well, thank you all for being here on our very first Community Conversations. Um, and it's appropriate that we would focus on community engagement because that's been a city council priority for the past two years is we really want to elevate the communication and the connection that we have and the engagement with our community members. Um, specifically to uh, really make sure that we are reaching out and connecting with um, parts of our community, members of our community who have historically been, you know, marginalized or left out of the decision-making processes or the input process. So, Simone, can you put into words, you know, what we mean when we talk about community engagement and why it's so important to include all of our community members on major projects? Yeah, thank you, Mayor, Mayor for the question. So, community engagement is really about having a two-way dialogue. So the city has put a lot of effort and investment into communicating, so informing the community about the projects we have and new policies that are coming out. But we haven't spent a lot of time really focusing on hearing from the community in a really robust way. Mm -hmm. And as we've increased our resources in that direction, um, it's really giving us an opportunity to hear from community members who just haven't had an opportunity, been underrepresented in our government, um, both in terms of specific representation as an elected official, but more importantly, in terms of their voice and input on projects and policies um, and the services that we provide. So when we talk about historically marginalized communities, we're talking about people of color, um, English language learners, so making sure that we're really addressing their needs and making sure that the outcomes that we have as a city are really equal outcomes for all. Thank you. So, Krista, we, we don't normally think of public works and community outreach and engagement. Um, so can you tell us why it's such an important thing uh, from public works and some of the ways that you're doing that as well? Awesome. So let me first say that public works is that is one of our major challenges, right, is educating people in the community about all of the things that we do to sort of keep the city running, especially with the infrastructure for the sanitary system, stormwater system, paving. And so when we go out to do engagement on a project, it's really important that we hear from the community because our projects are affecting the very landscape of the city. And mm -hmm. we don't want to do anything that could cause a problem for someone that we are unaware of because we didn't actually get that feedback. So it's very important before we make decisions about infrastructure that we take those to the community and we get all the feedback that we can. That's great. And you know, it also eliminates some of those surprises when all of a sudden there's equipment in the street or in the neighborhood and people don't know why. And, um, and so as we, you know, build new projects in older parts of our area and new projects in newer parts of Hillsboro. It's really important to get that input, as you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. We have some very lengthy projects, and so it's really important before we start something that may last for a period of years that we, that we really get that input. And I think, you know, that's what you said when you talk about the number of years, because these are projects that we are putting into place that will serve our community, not just for years to come, but truly for decades to come. Absolutely. Thank you. So, you know, Lauren, there are more than 110,000 people living in Hillsborough and lots of different expectations, unique perspectives. Um, how would you describe the expectations that community members should have when they engage with, uh, with Hillsborough? Yeah, I think when community members end up on the Engage Hillsborough website, they're going to be surprised and delighted by the amount of projects that we have and input that we need from them um, to better serve our community. There's different um, project levels 
on, that are easily identified on each of the pages. They'll talk to you about whether you're going to collaborate, you're going to provide ideas or policies, you're going to have some feedback on some of the options that we have, or whether the input that you're giving the city is really going to make a difference in the decision making process. And so we try to be as clear and transparent on all those project pages about how your input is going to actually shape future policy and projects. Very good, thank you. You know, when my family moved here over 25 years ago, we had KUIK, so we had local radio and, you know, Washington County today, every Friday morning for a couple of hours when we would hear, you know, things that were happening throughout Washington County, but especially in Hillsborough, we had our local newspaper, which was twice weekly. And, you know, those, those things are changing. So we don't have those anymore. And now we have social media, of course, and, um, you know, our community partners, are more important than ever. And you know, being in places where people go, such as events and libraries, those are also important in modern ways of, of connecting. But during the pandemic, you know, we saw how important online engagement was because when we were, you know, sequestered, you know, and are isolated, you know, then you know, people's for so many individuals, you know, that ability to reach out and to connect with the city online became a way, you know, that they never had to depend upon, you know, before. And um, so that's why we've tried to bring engagement closer to our community and doing it specifically through Engage Hillsboro, which is our new online engagement platform. So Krista and Lauren, um, you've both had, you know, a lot of experience, you know, with the online engagement. And Krista, if you want to share with us how Engage Hillsboro works. Sure. It's basically a one-stop shop kind of as Lauren was saying earlier, that allows people to come to one location that's not our main website. It's mm -hmm. a much more project focused, user friendly site and see all of the different things that we're looking for input on. Whether we're talking about designing a park or we're about to do some changes to a roadway or there's opportunities to engage with county projects. If they're surveying and planning, we also have a place there with Engage Hillsboro that people can find that out. So if there's something happening in the city and you want to be a part of knowing what's going on and you want to make your voice heard, Engage Hillsboro is where you can do that. That's excellent. Thank you. And again, just the idea that we could give input onto the creation and the design of a park is really, is really great. Um, and, and again, to be given in such a uh, convenient way that, that space at the table. So are there other top benefits you know, for, for our public? Yeah, I think the increased access, so just making sure that we are giving you a platform and an opportunity to have your voice heard at any day or time, I think that's our number one, just mm -hmm. the access availability to everybody. We're working actively to reduce barriers for all members of our community, so we don't want to um, force somebody to come into a meeting that's at a prescriptive time. Instead, we're letting you tell us what you need on your own time and in your own way. And so I think that's the most important thing about this Engage Hillsboro website. And that's also important because it's very reflective of our changing lifestyles, okay. work habits, and things such as that. And uh, so sometimes when you know you have the time to give input, yeah. it may not be the convenient time for when a meeting would normally take place. Simone, there's a great saying that you can pretend to care, but you can't pretend to be present. And so we recognize that while folks can you know, give input online, Hillsboro is still present in different ways in a person-to-person -person manner. And can you share with us some of, some of those ways uh, that, that people can still access yeah. in a person-to-person -person way, way? Yeah, thank you, Mayor. Um, I do think it's also important to say that, as um, Lauren talked about barriers, that the mm -hmm. digital divide is still real. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's really important, even more important now, that we continue to have these other methods of engaging with the public. So when we have open houses about projects, when we table at events, and not just mm -hmm. at the farmer's market, but increasingly at culturally specific events, like Juneteenth or El Grito, having mm -hmm. a presence there, having focus groups, um, connecting with our community-based organizations who do such critical work with a historically marginalized communities in a way that the city's just not positioned to do yet and really work with them and leverage the relationships that they've invested in. Um, those are really important ways and our faith-based organizations like Muslim Educational Trust or Sunrise Church and 
Vienna Star and Centro Cultural and ERCO, these are all really good relationships for us to continue to build and allow us to have presence in the community and continue to build real relationships um, that also allow people to then go to engage Hillsborough and further engage with us. And to be able to piggyback on those community organizations that already have access or already have the relationships with our community means that we're not having to reinvent the wheel, but we're able to really uh, you know, reach out to specific communities if we realize that we're not hearing from them. Absolutely. So um, then some of the projects that people can explore on the Engage Hillsboro website, um, Simone will follow up with you, the year-round shelter. Yes. And so um, what are you and the city staff seeking to hear from the public in regards to our, our new year-round shelter? Yeah, thank you. Um, so our year-round shelter, one important thing to note is that the city purchased the property that the shelter will be on, and so we are the owner of the facility, mm -hmm. um, but we will not be operating the site. Mm -hmm. So we are working in conjunction with Washington County, who will actually be funding the operator. But part of that working closely with them is really trying to help our community have voice, mm -hmm. so engage with them to help support the efforts um, so that we can have the most positive outcome for those who are experiencing houselessness as well as surrounding community members. And so we want to know things like what kind of services would you want to see mm -hmm. provided at that location? Um, what's important in, a, in an operator of a mm -hmm. shelter? What, what kind of physical design do you want to see in the building? Um, and then also, what kind of engagement do you expect? When do you want your voice to, to kind of show up? Mm -hmm. um, how often does that need to, need to happen for you to feel like you're really um, contributing to the efforts at the shelters? Again, for the most positive outcome for all. Great, and, and um, you know, the location is just on the west end of town, mm -hmm. just um, past Winco. On, on the south side. And um, so again, in the website for Engage Hillsboro is Engage Hillsboro. Hillsboro.com. <laughs> and so and so people can learn more about the project and give input at the same time. Yes. So that's great. Um, and I do want to say, Mayor, yes. real quickly, so it's engage.hillsboro-oregon.gov. Okay, thank you. It was a lot more complicated. <laughs> we want to make sure they find us. <laughs> I, can re I could remember the other one, but thank you for the You're clarity. Welcome. So, you know, school, school has just started. And so Safe Routes to School, uh, Krista, is one project that's been featured on Engage Hillsboro as well, um, along with transportation surveys from Washington County. And so how does having a platform like Engage Hillsboro increase participation? around things such as Safe mm. Routes to School. Well, it really gives us a place where we can get a little bit more in depth about our projects. And so you can come to the Engage site and you can see the renderings, you can see mm. the map layout, you can look at all of the items that are gonna take place over the course of the project that are suggested and really get a full feel for it the same way you would if you had spent you know, an hour with us during an in-person open house. So it really allows us to put all of that information, maps, PowerPoint slides, videos, mm -hmm. everything about the project that you can think of to express what it's all about somewhere where it's super accessible to people and you can watch that video another time if you need to or you can look over the drawings more closely zoom in to the mm -hmm. pdf right and that is available to you on the engage site and i think that's what's really helped us to get that deeper level of engagement with people that it just brings people um brings people into the project in a way that's really different than how it was before so and i think of meetings that i've been at where the slide will go up or the picture will go up and you want to see it closer or you want to spend more time on it, but they click through. Yeah. So this really means that um, we're able to engage on my terms and not on the terms of the presenter or, um, or, or the speaker. So again, that, that's just a great format and a great way of, uh, of setting it up and a great way for engagement. Um, Lauren, with the Community Guided Parks and Recreation System Plan, uh, how is input gathered online going to impact the project? Yeah, I think with that plan and most of the projects on the Engage site, it's really about being responsive to community needs. So um, on that project specifically, we're asking for ideas for inputs, we're asking for how often you use different programs uh, and what you want to see in the future. So the input that we're receiving from that is going to 
take care of what we're going to program for the community in the future and then also help with long-range planning needs so what the community wants to see down the road already um, there's already been feedback that they want more access to trails more mm -hmm. access to nature which as a recreation heavy parks department that's really good information and is going to challenge us to think differently about how we move forward and how we plan projects and um, use funding moving forward. Wonderful. You know, I think of our Hillsboro 2020 vision and action plan, which, you know, just relied so much on, you know, community engagement, community input. And now we're at Hillsboro 2035. Yeah. And to see, you know, um, this way of being able to engage with folks who may not have been engaged you know, with 2035, but yet, you know, the the act of recreation that you mentioned um, has always been a common theme and a common thread. And so to be able to see this, you know, from a different, um, or receive this information, you know, f through a different conduit is, is just great. Um, so give us the email, or I'm sorry, the website address again. Yes, it's engage.hillsboro-oregon.gov. Very good. Thank you. Thank you all for being a part of today's community conversations. And thank you for joining us, whether it's uh, through the video cast or whether it's through the podcast. We are glad that you have joined us and we look forward to having more community conversations with other guests and topics that are important to you. Thank you.